Our parents told us when we were growing up that money doesn't grow on trees. That is a lie. Money can grow on trees if you're planting the right seeds. You have to plant money seeds. If you put an apple seed into fertile ground, you get an apple tree. We can do the same thing with money. And I wanna show you how. We are here at the farm to show a very important idea when it comes to stock market and mindset about how money grows within the stock market. So I want you to take a look at the field out here. This field is used for having cattle here, but I want you to have the mindset that if you are putting your money within the stock market, you are actually planting money. You are planting money trees. Okay, so gotta get on down here. Once you find, so once you find your plot of land that looks good enough that you can start growing some stuff in, what you gotta do is you dig up a little bit. Okay, got a hole. And this is where the seeds are gonna go. Stop. Okay, and then you get your seeds. And they don't have to be fancy seeds. Just drop them in. And you cover the seed up. And that's all you gotta do. Let's move to another plot of land. Let's see here. Now these are some crops that I actually care about, so I'm gonna put a little bit more fancier seeds in. Okay, and then last one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you've planted your money trees, and then you just wait. Okay, so now it's been like a year, maybe five years, maybe 10 years because we're long-term investors. Uh, real quick, if you buy something and then sell it within a year, uh, it's what's known as a short-term capital gains tax. So you're gonna be taxed at a higher rate than if you just save it for a whole year and a day. It's then taxed at a lower rate, which is called your uh, long-term capital gains tax. So it's always the best idea to just keep your money in, set it and forget it as long as you picked good soil. And so we're gonna check our soil, we're gonna see how our stuff has done over time. And then we'll put a little picture up of what it was in the beginning, okay? So what do we got here? Is it? Yeah, let me get him. Good gosh. There's a feisty one. Okay, one, two, three, four quarters, okay, from the penny. Now, if I were to take this out, this is a realized gain, and if I'm in like a standard brokerage account, then I'm gonna be taxed at either the short-term capital gains tax or the long-term capital gains tax uh, because I am realizing a gain. I'm taking the profit from my, uh, my initial investment, but I'm not going to do that. I'm keeping it in, I was just merely looking at it, and that is what's known as an unrealized gain. So the gain is unrealized because I haven't taken it out and I'm not profiting from it in reality. Let's move on. Let's see what we did here. Oh, okay. Look at this. Look at all these monies. It's a nice little, Nice little upsize, okay? But again, I know this particular soil is gonna continue to do well, so I'm keeping it in, my unrealized gain. Let's go over here. 
What in the feezy? Oh. Here it is. What is this? A penny. Is that it? Okay, so I must have lost. All right, this is some bad soil. Maybe there's some insider trading going on, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sell this stock. So this is a realized gain, but I'm realizing at a loss. So this could actually help my tax situation if I'm also selling other stocks and realizing a gain. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So let's say I sell a stock and I profit $100. I get taxed at the $100. But if I'm also realizing a loss, that can offset my taxes. So let's say this lost me $50. Well, where's the penny? <laughs> if I took uh, $50 from $100, that leaves me $50. So I'm only taxed at the $50 amount. So sometimes your losses aren't always bad. Um, but I'm gonna sell this. I don't want to put this back in because this soil is garbage. So this is a realized loss. Let's do this last one. Let's see what we're left with. Oh, 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 what do we have here? Mm, 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 mm. Look at all this money. But again, I know that this soil is going to continue to do well for me. So we are going to cover that bad boy back up. Always bet on musk. All right, folks, there you have it. I hope you understand the value of not only the stock market, but also holding something within the stock market for a lengthy amount of time. If you put peach seeds, can you grow peaches? Yeah.